well-established mechanisms for immune system evasion by the Borrelia and its associated species make a highly plausible case for Borrelia ability to establish an infection that can survive our body's immune defense during early and late phases of bacterial spread. Video evidence reveals how quickly Borrelia can exit the blood vessel compartment and move itself into tissues, wreaking havoc. Preliminary evidence also suggests that these bacteria genius as they are, form communities that release a protective biofilm layer that protect itself against treatment and the body's ability to survive not just initial antibiotic therapy, but ongoing aggressive antibody therapy as well. Credible evidence supports the conclusion that Lyme disease can be recalcitrant and cause chronic relapsing infection in animal host. Based on well-designed post-treatment animal studies and credible mechanisms for immune evasion and persistence, we can reasonably conclude that some, possibly many, chronic Lyme disease patients suffer from symptoms related to persistent infection. The relief of suffering alongside the treatment and eventual cure of Lyme disease must be seen as parallel obligations. Moreover, integral to our mission as providers is the inherent dedication to the care of the sick along with the cure of disease. Physicians' failure to understand the nature of suffering can result in dated medical interventions that although technically adequate, may not only fail to relieve suffering, but can become a source of suffering itself. <laughs>